Alright, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the best rolls that you can get on the new Dreaming City weapons that were added back to the loot pool with Destiny 2 Season of the Chosen. But first, if you do want to help support the channel, then make sure to go down and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on. It would be greatly appreciated and it would help me out a lot. But anyways, with Season of the Chosen, Bungie added a new power level and new perks to the Vouchsafe, Waking Vigil, Sleepless, and Retold Tale. The first one we're going to go over is Vouchsafe. Vouchsafe is a lightweight frame 200 RPM Void Scout Rifle. Now here are all of the perks it can get and I would definitely recommend going for Outlaw and Kill Clip. Although you can also get Explosive Payload which would be very good for taking out ads in PvE and flinching enemies like crazy in PvP. That one really comes down to you whether you want increased damage or splash damage. The next weapon is Retold Tail. Retold Tail is a precision frame 65 RPM void shotgun. Now even though Retold Tail is a precision frame, it is not a select shotgun. And here are all of the rolls you can get on it, and if you are a PvP player, I would definitely recommend going for Quick Draw and Snapshot, or Quick Draw and Killing Wind. Those are the two best combos to get for PvP. Now if you are a PvE player, you should definitely go for anything in the first column with either 1-2 punch or Vorpal weapon in the second column. But in my opinion, whether you are a PvE or PvP player, you should definitely be going for Rifled Barrel and a Salt Mag. The next weapon we're going to go over is the Sleepless Rocket Launcher. Now here are all of the perks you can get on it, and if you are going for an Ag Clear Rocket Launcher, you should definitely go for Auto Loading Holster and Chain Reaction. Now if you are going for a pure DPS roll, you should go with Auto Loading Holster and Vorpal Weapon. I think that both of those rolls are going to be very good in PvE activities. The final weapon that we're going to be going over is the Waking Vigil Adaptive Frame 140 Arc Hand Cannon. Now if you didn't know, Waking Vigil was actually a very popular hand cannon option before it was sunset, so it will definitely be good with these new perks. Now here are all of the perks you can get now, and I think that if you are a PvP player, then there are definitely a lot of options here for you. You could go for Slide Shot Opening Shot, which would be an amazing roll, Killing Wind Snapshot or Killing Wind Opening Shot, which is yet another amazing roll, or Rangefinder Snapshot or Rangefinder Kill Clip, or you can mix and match all of these perks in any way, and really it's an amazing weapon for PvP. And I think that if 140s ever get a buff in any way, then Waking Vigil will be the best one out there. Now if you are a PvE player, you're also in luck because you can get the Fatebringer roll, aka Outlaw and Dragonfly, which would definitely be a fun one to use in PvE activities. But anyways guys, those are all of the reworked Dreaming City weapons. Now if you are trying to farm them, I believe they drop the same ways that they did in the Forsaken DLC, so you can go and do the Shattered Throne to get them or just activities and secrets on the Dreaming City. Now if you do happen to get one of the weapons that we talked about in this video, then definitely keep it because they are all wonderful weapons. But if you did find this video helpful, enjoyable, informative, any of those things, then please consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel with notifications on because it really does help out a lot, but thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.